Da? Isn't that beautiful? Hi, giraffe. This is beautiful. This is actually, now I know I've got the aerial. I want to reposition because it's so stunning the way that they've just sort of lined up. Let me try this again. Let me try reversing into the other corner. Maybe that'll be better. See, I can't, I don't really have any good spots at the moment to really turn around. Let's see if I go in here. Yes, oh, that's, I don't know why I didn't do that earlier. That was very silly of me. But here we go, much better view. We'll watch these guys as they move about. But that was really just a lovely scene, the way that they'd lined up. I actually just had to take a moment to just sit and enjoy that. Now, Stephen, you're wondering, what were you wondering? You were wondering, it's going to come back to me in about two seconds. <laughs> I remember, if, if it's true, that bulls darken with age. They do indeed. So from about, uh, it's a, again, it's, every animal is so different. And that's what's so wonderful about being out here. I'd say from when they start to mature, so from about seven years old, you'll definitely notice a color change. A very, very gradual change as they get older. But once they're over about 15 years or so, you start to see that beautiful dark patterning. So you're quite correct. And it's just like anything. The older you get, there's certain points in your life where you may be producing more testosterone than others. And when you have those bursts, that definitely does uh, increase and darken the color. Now, uh, we had a couple of questions come through. I've had it a few times where you guys have asked me, uh, do giraffe smell? And I was actually, I couldn't believe it. I was like, I, you know, I've been so close to giraffe before and I've never noticed a smell about them. And then I started reading about it in a lot of books as well. I specifically went to see if I could find anything about it. Now, I don't know if Byron and Tristan, uh, maybe we can ask them if they've ever experienced anything like that. But I've never smelt a giraffe before. You can smell very many animals. It's you will have to just reposition again as they keep moving. And um, other thing we think that's quite interesting is is it is it perhaps if you've gone to a zoo, have you maybe smelt the giraffe there? And, but they're even in my wildlife books. They talk about giraffe smelling. They don't say what it's from. If it's from a gland. Uh, or if it's just the stench, like wild dogs, they're just stinky. And um, and hyenas stink too. They're, ugh, hyenas, they're dirty creatures. They're not clean animals. And so I'm not sure why they smell. And I, if they do smell, I can't seem to smell it. But let's, oh, where's the next gap? Where is the next gap? Okay, I think I found a spot. Oh, they're all feeding around on a buffalo thorn, it looks like. Hi, little one. Now, no, don't be doing too much moving around, guys, because if you keep going further and further into this block, we're not going to be able to see you anymore. There we go. Now, Zoe, you're wondering how long do juvenile giraffe stay with their mothers? For a couple of years, it's not a very long time. And I would say from about three, four years old, you'll start to see... Uh, like we see with elephants, they'll start to see a little bit of separation where that's just, you know, maybe not feeding next to mom anymore or uh, perhaps hanging away, becoming a little bit more solitary, uh, depending, of course, on, on the sex, because the boys tend to be a little bit more solitary than the females. Um, but it depends. I mean, these, these guys are all different ages here. You can see mom tall one in the background and these youngsters, I actually reckon they're, they're not too far off each other. I would say between about two and a half years, this is the ages of the various ones we have seen this morning, to about five or six years. But um, it depends. So a bull will typically start moving off on his own when he gets to about seven, give or take a little bit. Every, every giraffe is different, and I'm sure it depends on the area. There are many different factors uh, that decide this, and that's something that we're learning more and more is that it's normally area specific so vegetation types have a lot to do with how long animals stay with their their mothers for will they mean how much milk mom produces you know so if they're hanging around for a bit longer maybe maybe they're suckling for a bit longer and that's what i love about the bush and it's something that i hope i get to do we sort of do this here 